I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Koinonia, Fellowship, Communion. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what we're doing in Higher Things, passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Right off his nose. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things, 501c3, helps us keep passing the faith on to young people. And we need it in, those, in these dark times. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just throwing treats and he's getting them. Koinonia, it's a Greek word, okay? It's used in Philemon 6, which we had yesterday. I want to look at this again just for a second. But... On Fridays, we like to take a look at words, and this is a good word to take a look at. Um, so that the communion of your faith would be energetic or active or working in, in the revealing or the knowledge or the recognition of all the good in, in us in Christ Jesus, okay? So ends the text. Communion. That's the word, koinonia. Koinonia is sometimes translated fellowship. And what I want to take a look at today is I want to get past that word. Okay? I want you to, to think past. When you hear the word koinonia, when you hear that word, when you hear fellowship, I want you to immediately go to the Lord's Supper. First and foremost, I want you to go to the Lord's Supper. Before you go to that feeling that you get when you're around your friends in the faith, or that feeling you get at a potluck dinner, before you do that, and I'm that nothing wrong with that. Koinonia can mean that. But first, I want you to actually go to where the highest fellowship is in the Christian church, which doesn't happen at a potluck or a supper or on a softball field. Those are all good things, not taking away from that at all. The highest fellowship in the Christian church occurs at the altar, where Jesus gives to you his body to eat and his blood to drink for the remission of all your sins. I want you to take, first and foremost, when you hear the word fellowship, I want you to think, what, what does this say about the Lord's Supper? What does this say about him giving to me his body and blood? If you can eliminate that, then it could be something else. But fellowship, which isn't the Lord's Supper, is an early church fellowship. Not in the truest sense of the word. And so a lot of times we think um, that the Lord's Supper is only in four places in the scriptures. It's a kind of a narrow, non-historic view of that. The word koinonia, which becomes communion, the sharing of common things, is first and foremost in the early church used for the body and blood of Jesus. Caught that like an Alabama receiver. So, koinonia, common things, the Lord Jesus giving to you his gifts the sharing of your faith. And here in Philemon, it's it's so very clear. The sharing of your faith is active. Uh, see, that is so weak. It's not the sharing of your faith, except it's the sharing of your faith as the Lord bodies and bloods you together with your neighbor. That's where faith and love happen. Most clearly is at the Lord's Supper. Think about it. Just try it for a little bit and see if whether or not this use of koinonia as something other than sort of generic fellowship, if you find, oh no, the dog's got the squeak toy. If you, if you start trying to understand first and foremost koinonia as communion, as the body and blood of Jesus, whether it opens it up to a little bit of more good things in Jesus from God. Think about it. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.